Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And today we are going to be talking about another horror anime, and that anime is Corpse Party. But before we begin, just in case any of you guys missed my last video where I reviewed Dead Man Wonderland, at the beginning of that video I said that for the rest of the month of October, in celebration of Halloween, I'm going to be reviewing horror anime. So this will be the second horror anime I will have reviewed. There's a link in the description to my Dead Man Wonderland review, which was the first horror anime I reviewed, if you guys want to go check it out. Also, if you enjoy this video, consider liking and subscribing because it will help me out a lot. Okay, so now let's get into talking about Corpse Party. First off, for anyone who doesn't know what Corpse Party is, it's a video game series and the first one released in Japan back in 1996. And in 2012, a one episode original video animation, or OVA, was released and it was titled Corpse Party Missing Footage. And for the most part, not that much happens in missing footage, it's basically just setting up the story of Corpse Party. Then in 2013, another OVA was released, but this time it had four episodes instead of one, and it was titled Corpse Party tortured souls and tortured souls is just a continuation of missing footage so basically missing footage is like the first episode and then tortured souls is the rest of the episodes so it's weird that they're in two different series but technically they're the same series and the first one is just the first episode and then this one is the other four so yeah it's weird that they did that but that's how it is so now I'm gonna get into talking about the story and I'm gonna be covering both OVAs because they're basically a part of the same story also I'm gonna let you know that I won't be able to show much footage from Corpse Party because one, it's only five episodes in total and I don't really want to spoil anything, and two, this is the most violent anime I have ever seen and YouTube won't be too happy with me showing any of that. So yeah, so I'm gonna try to show some footage. It's only gonna be a little bit that I can show. I might have to show like some screenshots instead to try not to give away stuff or try not to show any of the gore and violence and stuff like that. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's talk about the plot. Nine students gather in their high school at night to bid farewell to a friend, as is customary among many high school students. They perform a sort of ritual for them to remain friends forever, using small paper charms shaped like dolls. However, the students do not realize that these charms are connected to Heavenly Host Academy, an elementary school that was destroyed years ago after a series of gruesome murders took place. And that same school rests under the foundation of their very own Kisaragi Academy, now trapped in an alternate dimension with vengeful ghosts of the past. The students must work together to escape or join the spirits of the damned forever. So going into this anime, I kind of knew what to expect, because while this is my first time watching Corpse Party, it's not my first time hearing about it, and from what I've heard it sounded like it was going to be pretty messed up, and it was pretty messed up. For the most part, Corpse Party consists of a lot of really gruesome deaths, but the gruesome deaths and scenes aren't as bad as if the story actually had good characters. Since it's only five episodes long, you don't get a lot of time to get to know these characters, but they do try to spend roughly the same amount of time with each character, and they kind of try to develop them. But the characters are pretty forgettable, and they mostly exist to die in some gruesome way, or have some messed up thing happen to them. To give you an idea of how forgettable they are, I don't really remember any of the characters' names, but I remember them from however they died or whatever messed up thing happened to them. Like for example, there's one girl who gets dragged by these ghosts down the hall and then the ghosts slam her into a wall and she just explodes and there's guts everywhere and stuff like that. And I would remember that girl as the girl who got hit into the wall. I don't remember her name at all because they were really forgettable. Also, let's talk about the scares. So for the most part, it's not really that scary. There's a couple jump scares and only one of them really scared me, but it's not really that scary other than the, those like two jump scares. And for the most part, it's just kind of creepy and really violent. Like a lot of the deaths that happen are kind of crazy and they try to show as much gore as possible and try to just kill them in the most like gruesome way possible. But there's one scene in particular that really stands out to me because it was the first time I've ever started feeling nauseous while watching an anime. Now obviously I can't show any of this but I'll try my best to explain the scene that really grossed me out. So there's this one scene where a girl is tied up blindfolded laying on the ground and it shows someone else with scissors cut their tongue out. Then I think they stab them in the eye and then they cut the top part of their head off. Like right here they cut this whole part off and then just drop their head on the floor. 
it was pretty violent, and I remember it very well. So I was watching it on my phone, and I had it, it was like placed by the sink, and I'm brushing my teeth at night, watching it, and then that scene happened, and I remember exactly what I did. I, my stomach started feeling kind of nauseous, so I stopped watching the anime and put on a YouTube video. So yeah, it was pretty gross. So my overall thoughts on the Corpse Party OVAs is that it's kind of creepy, very violent, and the characters kind of suck. So would I recommend watching Corpse Party? No, I wouldn't recommend watching Corpse Party. The characters aren't that great and the story's kind of rushed because it's only like packed into five episodes and it's just kind of gross from how gory and violent it is. And I want to let you guys know that violence and gore doesn't normally bother me in an anime. Like in my Dead Man Wonderland review, one of the problems I had with it was that they censored a lot of it and didn't show enough violence. So sometimes violence and gore can benefit your show or movie or anime or whatever. I've also seen anime like Elfin Lead and Attack on Titan, which both of those are really violent and they didn't really bother me. But for some reason, Corpse Party with how gory and violent it was, it really bothered me. Honestly, it was mostly that one scene. For the most part, the other gore didn't bother me too much. That was the only one that made me feel nauseous, or that was the only scene that made me feel nauseous. And yeah, they just kind of make it really violent and they don't really need to. There's one kill in particular where it was just like, I kind of don't want to spoil anything, but I'll explain it. I won't say who this person is or what they look like, but there's one death where the person gets stabbed in the eye, then gets their stomach stabbed out. And then there's this like zombie ghost thing that punches its hand through the back of their head and it comes out their mouth. Like you don't really need to kill someone that way. You could just stab them. Like it doesn't need to be that violent and gory. They kind of just take it to another level and just really want it to be really violent and gory. And I don't know, it did kind of bother me and I don't feel like it really needed it. So I'm gonna give both Corpse Party missing footage and corpse party tortured souls a d these weren't great ovas and it's not just because the gore or violence bothered me it's mostly because the characters kind of suck and the story is okay but it felt rushed because it's only five episodes so even if you don't mind the gore i still wouldn't recommend watching this because the characters kind of suck and the story's not that great although the video games and manga might be better even though i think they have the same characters i could be wrong but i believe that they have more time to tell the story because however many volumes of manga is in a video game you can make long and you can make it a few hours to play through so maybe those tell the story a little bit better but this one it isn't that great Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and if you like seeing me talk about Corpse Party, let me know if you'd want to see me do a review for the video game. Even though I didn't like the OVAs that much, and the gore kind of bothered me, it might be interesting to see how the story compares to the original video game and the OVAs. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. If I think it might be interesting to see how the two stack up against each other, see which one's better. Maybe do a video on which one's better and compare it and see what's cut from it and what's not and see if it's better or not. Could be an interesting video. I don't know. Also, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to be among the first to see my next horror anime review. And if I ever do a game review for Corpse party you'll be one of the first people to see that too if you're subscribed so i'll see you guys next time with another horror anime review okay bye